Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my personal health and fitness goals for 2023. Let's get straight into it. My first goal is to be able to run five kilometers in 25 minutes or less. Now, this one might seem easy to some of you, but when I tell you this is going to be a challenge, I am a sprinter at heart. My body is like 90% fast twitch fibers for those of you who don't know i used to be an international junior sprint hurdler sprinting is what i do distance oh i only loved it when i was like 10 years old and even then it was a huge stretch but as i got older i was like i'm definitely a sprinter however at this stage in my life i would love to be able to enjoy running more and i know that i enjoy doing something when i'm better at it <laughs> when I get good at something, I tend to really enjoy it. During the pandemonium, I did learn to enjoy running and the benefits it gives. I get such a runner's high after I run. The way that I'm gonna achieve this goal is a little bit backwards and not what I would recommend for someone else. The way I'm gonna achieve this is by running five kilometers every single day for all of January. <laughs> and even as I say that, I'm like shuddering. The reason I wanna do this is because number one, I know myself. I know that I am a bit of like an all or nothing kind of gal. When it comes to a new challenge, I have to jump all in. I can't do things in parts. So if I say on here, I'm gonna run 5K three times a week, I personally would not run 5K three times a week. I know that for a fact. I've lived with myself for 29 years. I'm the kind of girl who needs to go all in. Now this doesn't really make much sense because from a coaching perspective, that's not the best way to improve your time. What I would want to be doing to improve my time would be like tempo runs and different kinds of exercises and conditioning. And I'll still be doing my normal workouts alongside the running 5K. But the reason I want to do this 5K a day for 30 days is because I know for me, a lot of the reason why I don't like running long distance and the reason why I get tired so quickly, a lot of it is not only a lack of cardiovascular fitness, but it's mental. It's a mental block where five kilometers feels like a long way to me sometimes. And what I wanna do is just practice getting over that mental barrier of putting on clothes and leaving the flat, of getting up to two kilometers and thinking, I wanna stop now, but carrying on either way. And I also wanna get comfortable with my pace. So yesterday, actually, I went and ran a 5K and I really had to push through. I tried to run it as fast as I could. So I started off, I think I did the first kilometer in about five minutes, 15 seconds. This was with no warm up, so I don't really think I did myself any favors with that. But it was so hard to keep up that pace. I was so tired. I was really, really breathless. So I know I've got a lot of work to do on my cardiovascular fitness, but I'm really excited. Just to inform you, the qualifications of what counts for me running a 5K will include going on the cross trainer and doing a 5K, as well as going on the treadmill and doing a 5K. Now, I live in London, so, as much as I love the idea of getting out of the house every day, this isn't South Wales. So there will be days where I'm starting work really early at 8 a.m. And actually, if it's still dark by the time I run, I won't feel as comfortable running through the dark streets of London as I would maybe if I was back home in the valleys and running through some gorgeous countryside. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind and I will count cross trainer 5Ks in my calculations. Another reason for that is because um, I. I don't want to get injured. So if I was feeling like my tendons were a little tight or heavy or feeling a little inflamed, then I do want to be able to cut out that impact of road running and switch it out for a machine that is less joint heavy. Um, but yeah, that's my first goal. These aren't up for discussion, by the way, guys. You might be thinking, oh my gosh, Sarah, that's crazy. Yeah, they're my goals, okay? They're my goals. These are the ones for me, for where I'm at, and for who I know myself to be as a person. I feel so nervous sharing this all on the channel, but I know for a fact, again, that I do better, and people in general do better when they have accountability buddies. So you guys can be my accountability buddies. My second goal for 2023 regarding my health and fitness is to be able to do a full split fully. Like not a partial split in the past, but a full split on both sides. Now I've tried 
to do the splits really well for years. I think there was once where I could do them quite well with my right leg leading, um, but it's never been as comfortable. I don't think it would count as like a full split. It's always been a little bit off the ground. And I've tried in the past. I remember I did um, 200 days of stretching in a row before and it was great. I got a lot more flexible, but the issue with that was uh, and in terms of me reflecting on my previous failures and seeing how I'm going to change that going forward was that I just didn't have enough time. You know, I do a lot of things. And so finding an hour to two hours of a day to stretch seems impossible. But recently, as though a light bulb has just gone off, I've realized that there are so many times in life where I'm just sat down where I could be stretching. For example, this morning, while I was reading my Bible, praying, doing my affirmations, gratitude, visualization, I decided to stretch while I was doing it. And actually it helped me to be so much more focused on my quiet time because when the stretches would hurt I would do a deep breath I'd center myself and I was focused on what I was reading or saying or you know meditating on so that's how I'm gonna try and overcome my previous failures when it comes to stretching. I will also be stretching while I'm watching TV, watching Netflix and learning lines. These are things that I need to do as an actor and that I love to do as a human. <laughs> so when I'm watching a show, instead of just slouching on the sofa and just feeling, oh, I love my sofa, I'm not gonna lie, it's so comfortable, it is so comfortable. But instead of just slouching, I'm going to sit in a stretched position. That way, I will be able to get in the one to two hours a day of stretching in order to see some progress. I hope, I pray, I hope. Oh my goodness, it feels scary putting this out there. My third goal for 2023 regarding my health and fitness is to be able to do a forearm stand. Again, another thing that I've tried and failed at. I know, not great, whatever, you know, let, let me live. Would you let me live? Reflecting on it, I just wasn't that consistent. I found it hard and so I gave up. So what I've done is I've researched a load of stretches that I'm going to incorporate after I run a 5k. So each time I run a 5k during January, I'm going to do these forearm stand stretches as a way of cooling down and practicing my forearm stand. And I'm hoping to get better at it. My fourth health and fitness goal for 2023 is to lose some weight. Now, oh my gosh, I'm actually scared to put this on the internet. In fact, maybe I shouldn't put it on the internet because I don't want people to take this as though I think I'm overweight. Well, technically I'm five foot three and I weigh 68 kilograms. So technically my BMI is over, but I'm also a lot of muscle mass. But the reason I want to lose some like literal gravitational force on my body from the earth type of weight rather than visual <laughs> weight um, is purely because of my athletics or my, running. I don't want to be carrying excess weight while running. If you know this about me or maybe you don't know this about me, I've had surgery on both my knees in the past and so having less physical weight that I'm carrying while I'm doing explosive exercises, um, jumps, squats, all the different things I want to be doing is going to be helpful for me to just protect my knees. Anyway, those are my goals for the new year and I'm about to sit down and really plan when and where and how I'm going to do each thing and what it's going to look like. Let me know if you want me to share the process with you on this channel. I honestly feel scared posting this because I don't know, maybe I've just been in, in a certain bubble of social media, but I feel like people might tell me off for having a weight loss goal when I'm not, when, when they don't, when, when they don't perceive me to be overweight. But I truly believe that there's like a healthy weight range and you just get to choose where you sit. I just want to sit in the middle. I don't know, should I post this? Should I edit this out? If I post this, please be nice to me. You know what annoys me? When people say, oh my gosh, diets are bad. When everyone is on a diet, everyone is eating some kind of diet. The thing that's bad is bad diets. Bad diets are bad and I won't be doing a bad diet. I will actually be looking after my body more to achieve these goals. That's my one thing. And I've said this in other videos, like when you're goal setting, I don't care if you want to turn blue, as long as it doesn't damage your physical or mental health. <laughs> okay. So for me, as long as my goals are beneficial and good for me, as long as they don't damage my physical and mental health or hurt anyone else, then I'm a carry on. I also don't want to be a liar. I don't want to come on here and pretend that it's unintentional or that I'm not actively 
losing a little bit of weight and exercising more and eating healthily because I am. Anyway, those are my health and fitness goals for 2023. Let me know in the comments if you have goals, what are they? How are you going to achieve them? And we can work on it together. I honestly feel nervous posting this, but accountability is a huge thing. So if you want to be my accountability buddy for 2023, then subscribe, turn on notifications, leave me comments and we can hold each other accountable. And I can keep you up to date with when I'm doing my 5k run. I uh, even <laughs> saying it. 5k a day. Girl. Every day. It's what I need though. I know it's what I need. And it's possible. It is possible. Okay. Okay, that's it. I'm going to end the video here. Otherwise, I'm just going to talk myself out of it. Love you so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye. Senor, senor, senor. I have an audition for an opera soon, by the way. I'm really excited about it. So random.